Okay, so um, I decided to make a Ferrero Rocher enclosure because I finally got a Dremel tool. It's like I this is the moment, and I'm probably gonna have some Sam Opie's poker in it because he she's molted a few times now, and I feel like. He'll be able to do it with an upgrade. Keeping in mind this is my uh, first time actually properly rehousing something faster. So I don't really know how I'm gonna go about this yet. I know the tea's over there. See if I can encourage him to come out. Oh, him slash her. Just walking back and forth now. Quite nervous because um, I rehoused the Sam Appears Cambridge guy from Spider's World when I got that one. And that one just bolted away and scared the living crap out of me. Where's the teeth? I can't see it. I'm actually gonna pause and take a few pictures here, so sorry for that. Alright, so um We've got everything up. All that's left is to prop the tea into its new home. Please don't bolt though. We don't want you to bolt. Some more pictures. All right, he's definitely being a lot more chill than the Cambridge guy. Same as last word. Get in there. There we go. And he's in. He's roused. That went smoother than I expected it to go. kind of lock thing I made for this enclosure as well. Uh, there we go. Some of these poker rehouse. You can see he's got plenty of room to grow in here for quite some time. So there we have it. Now I'm going to tell you a bit about how I made this enclosure and stuff. So you know the Candy's Ferre Rocher? Basically, if you've seen the Dark Dance videos, I bought acrylic hinges from eBay. 
been able um, a larger type of Ferber Rochers. These were eight euros and something, which is, I mean, I guess a bit more on the expensive side for plastic enclosure, but looks really nice. And then um, I drilled holes in it along the sides, and then a few on the back. I've got six small ones in the back, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine rows of two on the top, and ten rows of two on each side. I've got a water addition here. I wet and moistened down the bottom layer of the substrate a bit, just because I just rehoused them, he'll probably appreciate it. And uh, I gave him a water dish this time. I also drilled um, a little hole in here, put a little pin in so that it can't fall open. I hot glue gun this bottom bit in, to just use Dremel glue to sort this off. And then the hot glue gun this stuff on. I'm not sure if the hot glue will hold, so that's a bit worrying, but I'll just not place it directly against the heat and it should be fine. Because I've had some enclosures where um, the fake plants fell off because um, the heat cable warmed up the hot glue. So yeah, but I reckon this will be fine. It looks nice. He's in and safe and stuff. And I got this. Have a good look at him, which I haven't been able to in a while. He's under the that leaf over here, but you can't see him now. But yeah, that's the summer piece poker rehoused. Thank you for watching. I hope I can see you in the. Pardon me, I hope I can uh, see you back in the next video I do. Please check out the other content I have on my channel, I've got some pretty cool feeding videos and stuff. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this video, and I, yeah, please like and subscribe, and I'm not good at outros by the way, do, do all the usual stuff, peace.